Hello and welcome to the short board on Parshas Yisro. Last week in Parshas B'Shalach, in Perak Yidal, Pasuk Yud, it says, Uparo, he created, Paro was coming close to the Jews near the Yamsuf, he named Yitzrayim, Nosea Achareyam, and the Egyptians were traveling after them. Rashi comments there on the language of Nosea Achareyam, they traveled after them, Belevechad ki Ishechad, like one heart, like one man. That was a phrase I remember that was connected to Matan Torah at Har Sinai, which was this week's Parsha Yisro. So I checked, Perak Yutes, Pasuk Beis, and it says, Vayichan Sham Yisrael Neged Ahar, the Jews camped opposite the mountain, Vayichan as a Lashon Yachet, and Rashi, uh, as expected, commented, Ki Ishachad Belevechad, like one man, like one heart. A very similar language, just reversing Belevechad, Ki Ishachad, to so I was wondering what was the difference. I looked around and I too, and found among the answers uh, was one by the, the Sokhachev Rev, the Av, Avdei Nezer, Rev Avram Bernstein, 1838-1910, which was very similar to uh, what uh, Rev Yitzhak Hutner said in Pachad Yitzchak, he's 1906 to 1980. And the difference is the Rev Hutner used a muscle, so I'm going to go, a muscle, the parallel, so I'm going to go in that route. Rav Hutner says that you know, if a, a person has a right hand and a left hand, and so they're part of one body. So naturally, they're going to have one goal in mind. One, in this case, we can call it one lave. But when it's two different people, they might be trying to achieve the same goal, but they are not one person. There is a separation. That's the difference between the Jews and the non-Jews. The Egyptians, it says, Belevechad ki ishechad like one heart, like one man. Because they had one goal, they acted in the same way. But there were still, you know, many differences of, of, of opinions, and they were definitely individuals were coming together for one purpose. But the Jews are kishachad. Jews are like the right hand and the left hand. It's all part of one body. We all have, it's all the same goal. It's kalevachad. We're one motivation. Even though we're different people, we act like one. That's why Jews are referred to as nefesh. Like Bashiv nefesh yordu, uh, the Jews went down to Egypt as... 70 souls, but Nefesh is singular because the Jews were all with one heart, one way. We're all united. And one of the great things about the, the Jews is that we're united when, they're, when there's something wrong with someone, you know, someone is in trouble amongst the Jews, then, then we feel for them, we pray for them, whether it's in Texas, whether it's in Pittsburgh, whether it's in Muncie, whether it's in Eretz Israel, it doesn't matter. If a Jew is suffering, we are there. And we also want to celebrate with other Jews. In, in contrast, some of our enemies, uh, like Arabs, Muslims, and Palestinians, who uh, they want to, they unite in one goal to attack the Jews. Chas v'shalom. God forbid anything should be successful. Fortunately, they are so divided that usually they're, they're fighting, so busy fighting amongst themselves, the Iranians and the Iraqis, uh, Syrian civil war, they're not focused on, uh, on causing us trouble. So that's the difference. We are Ishechad Balev, we're united. We're one body with one heart. And this connects to something I heard from Rabbi Pesach Kron yesterday uh, on Torah anytime he was speaking at a dinner for, for PTI, uh, the Pesach uh, Torah Institute. And he told a story about a, uh, a rabbi in England who was walking with, with a young man, a young boy. And they were in the, it was the fall, they're walking in the park and the beautiful colored uh, leaves and one of them fell down off the tree onto a, a onto the bench, and so the the rabbi picked up the bench and he told the young man, the young boy, and he said, you know, you see this this tree thinks that it, it's free because it can do what it wants now. It's separated from the tree that it was stuck to, but little doesn't realize that in a little while it's going to crumble up and it's going to die and it's going to be gone. It's going to wither. He says you, throughout life you're going to see many types of Jews and many types of Jews in their observances and many of them will think that they're free. Oh, I can eat what I want. I can drive what I want. I don't have to listen to, to the mitzvot and all the commandments that Hashem commanded us. But little do they realize that by separating themselves from the Torah, the Torah, Torah which is the tree of life, eitz hayim hi zikim It's the tree of life for those who cling to it. That with, without the connection to the Torah, chas v'shalom, when we see the pew statistics, how so many of them are leaving uh, Judaism, that their grandchildren are, are, are not Jews. Hopefully that's something that, that can change. And 
So this little boy took into mind what the, what, what the rabbi told him. Who was this little boy? This little boy, this young man, he ended up becoming the mashkiach of, of Lakewood, Rav Matis Yo ben Etel Rufua Shalema. So we see a message that through the unity that we had to be united in order to receive the Torah. And it's our unity that has helped us survive throughout the ages in, in the Gullus and the exile. But it's through the Torah and we've had that, that we have to keep in order to remain united. So let's unite and celebrate the Torah that was given this year, this week in Parshish Yisro. Thank you for listening. Have a wonderful week and a wonderful Shabbat.